Welcome everyone to Ricky's Tech Talk. I'm pleased to bring you a new monitor unboxing from BenQ. This is their Mobius one millisecond IPS 144 Hz gaming monitor. And it's their new range of gaming monitors. And it's the first ever BenQ monitor we've had on the channel. So very excited to be working with BenQ to bring their latest monitors. And this has just come in time for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, which we will be hooking up as they don't currently have a gaming PC as of yet. As you can see to the right hand side I do have the new Mac Mini M1 so we'll try and do some gaming on that and see how well it performs. But nevertheless, let's get into the unboxing. So on the front, you can see the monitor itself. You've got Mobius and you have the model number, which is EX2710. The link to BenQ and where you can buy here in the UK will be in the video description below. So make sure you go and check that out for yourself. So there are a range of key features that I can talk about, which you'll see on the side and all across the box. So some of the key features you'll see along the top is HDR, I. HDR I brings you visual experiences up to a brand new level. You've got AMD FreeSync Premium, Trevor Low Technology, HDMI, and your display port. Down the left hand side, you've got a range of different options as well. So it includes, it's a 27 inch monitor, 16 by nine aspect ratio, an IPS panel, full HD, HDR, one millisecond MPRT, so that's a more professional level of measurement, AMD FreeSync technology again, and blur reduction and the HDRI, the True Sound Audio by Trevelo delivers immersion never like before. So that's a quick rundown of the key specs. So let's get it unboxed now. In the box, you're gonna find our stand here, a very different style of stand that I haven't seen before on the channel, but I like this, I like the orange and the silver. Plastic in some areas, you've got locking nuts on the back here, but metal in the key areas that's needed. And as you'll see, it's slightly raised, so it's gonna be looking at you, which is good. So we're gonna take our column here. So we've got our column, quite a chunky bit here to actually fit into the bottom stand, which is really good. It means this will be sturdy and it will have a good structure. So let's just push this in. So push this in. So with the locking nuts, it's got a thread or it's got this little twist bit that you can use up here for a bit of leverage and twist in as much as you can. You can use a screwdriver if you want to. So that's our column and stand now connected and you can see where it's gonna connect into the display, which we'll take a look at. But sit that at the back there. So cables provided will be different depending on the monitor you go for and the model you get. European plug here for connection. I have the UK three pin plug, which I require, which is helpful. We have some paperwork. So we've got safety instructions the Mobius quick start guide. And if you flip this round, it shows you what you should get cable wise. So a HDMI cable, possibly a display port cable, an audio cable and some other cables there. You've also got then service information and calibration information for your display. So paperwork is there. And we also have a panel here that will go onto the back of the monitor if you choose to use a wall mount to wall mount this monitor. So it keeps the cables hidden and away. So that's everything you get in the box. Yours may be different because yours is a full retail version. It hasn't gone to loads of different people on YouTube or different press people. So the cables go missing over time, but you should get everything there. If you do have any issues, drop a comment down below, more than happy to help. So now let's take a look at our panel from BenQ. So here is our Mobius panel from BenQ. You've got Mobius along the back here. You have got your VESA connection here if you do want to wall mount it. So that's really good to see. You also have a Kensington lock to lock down your monitor. So no one will walk away with it, but anyone shouldn't be coming into your household anyway. You have a joystick control stick system here for navigation. And you also have two buttons, which are quite new to me from a BenQ monitor. Lifting up, we can see our connections. So looking inside there, we've got HDMI, HDMI. We have our display port and you've got an audio jack here and you've got your power here. All that's left now is to connect our column and stand. So what you do is you put the two top prongs in first and as you see here, there's a release button. So always put in the top two first, put them in together, you can push down and there we go. Get the polystyrene off. And that is that easy and that simple. If you need to release this, press the button and it comes out straight away. So all that's left is to click that into place. You've got cable management here, which is nice, a little small cable management option. All that's left in the snap of a finger is to set it up. 
as you can see, our monitor is all set up and it's ready to go. So with two HDMI ports and a display port, you can connect up to three different devices, which is really important. For me, I've connected the brand new PlayStation 5 and also my Mac Mini powered by the M1 chipset, which we'll be diving a lot more about. I've still got the DisplayPort connection available to me. But to finish off, I'm going to play a little bit of Astro's Playroom, which is a great game for the PlayStation 5. So a couple highlights of the Mobius monitor here from BenQ just before we finish. And I will be bringing you a review in a few weeks time, delving in a lot further with more gameplay, more features talking about more of the monitor itself, the design, the aspect, how it's worked for me during my review time. It has one millisecond response time, which is great for gaming. You need to be right at the edge of your gaming, quick, fast, and responsive. This is measured in MPRT instead of gray to gray, which means it's more responsive. It should be a more certified actual timing compared to gray to gray. It offers an IPS panel, which looks great in color and looks great from different angles. It has some ergonomic designs that has the options to tilt the monitor, shift it left to right, and also adjust the height. And again, we'll delve into that further during the review. It's 27 inches in size and it's full HD. It offers HDR and it offers that HDR eye as well, which I'm looking forward to delving in and really seeing what that can offer. This also offers true sound audio by Trevlo, Deliver Immersion, and I've played some of the audio there on the game and hopefully you heard about that. So here in the UK, this monitor is available from BenQ and other retail outlets, and I will leave a link in the description. But here in the UK, at the moment, it's $279.99. They do have an offer on their website, so go and check that out, and the link will be in the description. You've got AMD FreeSync Premium in here. So that means your graphics card will link up with the monitor to give you the best possible resolution and response times together. You have a design that's different and that excites. The design looks nice. It looks futuristic. I like the gray and the orange and the black. It all mixes together. You can see as well from the actual monitor itself, it's a three-sided sort of frameless design as well. The left, the right, and the top are quite sort of borderless, which looks really nice. It means the content is not distracted by big borders. There's so many features that we'll go through more in future depth. And for me, my first personal little go, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to testing it out more with the brand new PlayStation 5. Astro's Playroom is a great game and a must for everyone to go and check out if you have got the brand new PlayStation 5. But for me, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts? Does it excite you? There's different options here that I haven't seen before on a monitor. There's new features that I want to go and test, the new features that I want to try. But also you, my audience, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. A special thank you goes out to BenQ for sending out the monitor. This has been the Mobius monitor unboxing and first impressions with the PlayStation 5. Yes, I have the Mac Mini, but I think it's more excited showing the PlayStation 5 at the moment. But if you do have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help from me, Ricky, here at Ricky's Tech Talk. Thank you always for watching. And remember, if you haven't yet already, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification notification bell and then you'll be updated with all of my latest new videos. For me Ricky, I'll see you soon. Stay safe, stay well. Bye for now.